Good like up. sand through the hourglass. These are the days of our lives. <laughs> so the times, they are a changing. And welcome to Afternoon Express in our brand new time slot of 5 p.m. This is when days of our lives used to be. I could remember. feel the tension, right? And I knew you were about to do something, but I was like, it's silent. We're on know, live TV. I know, oh, I know. Well done. It's like a little dramatic build up. But welcome to the show. And if, if this is the first time that you're actually watching the show, because now it's an hour later, welcome. We hope that you yeah. love it just as much as we yeah. do. We saw so much feedback from people saying, Finally, I actually get to see the show. I don't hear about it while I'm stuck at work or stuck in traffic. So welcome. Exactly. I'm Bonnie Mooley. Welcome to Afternoon Express. Today, you need to know two things. Tevin Campbell and <laughs> you stand a chance to win a home. Those are the only two things you need to know. Jeannie, do you know, do these words ring a bell? I'm ready. No. Okay. Now, I... <laughs> <laughs> but maybe give me a clue. <laughs> <laughs> the viewers at home know what I'm talking about. <laughs> OK, and hopefully you are ready. Now, Grammy Award winning R&B singing sensation Tevin Campbell is rocking our shores for the second time. He was compelled by many of his South African fans after they couldn't make his first concert. And uh, let's take a look at some of his chart topping hits. Campbell, welcome to Afternoon Express. So thank wonderful you. to have you uh, here. It's great. Thank you for having me. You have had the most insane career. And I mean, it started, I think, you were discovered by Quincy Jones when you were only 12 years old. Mm -hmm. I mean, what was that even like? I, I mean... You were like the youngest, greatest singing sensation of that time. Like, I fell in love to all your records. Like, <laughs> I, I, like my, 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 my moments of first falling in love are marked by all your records. Oh, sweet. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I hear that a lot. Listen, it was great. You know, being 12, you don't really realize how great it is to be discovered by Quincy Jones, but it was yeah. great, you know. It was, how do, I mean, how did that even happen? How were you in the same room with him okay, that, well, that he heard you sing? The story goes like this. Um, my mom, her, one of her high school's friends, uh, uh, has a sister in New York called Bobby Humphrey. She's a flautist. And he called her up over the phone, and I sang for her over the phone. And then she flew me out to New York. She had a club called Sweetwaters. And I was like 10, 11 years old with this white blazer and this black tie and these black slacks singing in front of all these adults, drinking liquor and stuff. And she videotaped that. Mm -hmm. And uh, she sent it to a lot of record companies. And Quincy eventually snatched me up. Wow. And signed me to uh, wow. Quest Warner Brothers. But a lot of stuff happened before that. Yeah. A lot of people were uh, trying to sign me. I met Michael before I met Quincy. Really? Um, but wow. Quincy won, oh my. Good God. Wow. Wow. How Quincy you, won. <laughs> you also say that um, you're quoted saying that you always wanted to just sing. You just wanted to enjoy mm. singing for what it was, that you didn't want the fame and yeah, all that stuff that, yeah, it, that it came with. Yeah. How, do, how did you <laughs> negotiate that tension at that age? Well, you know, when you're a kid, you don't know how to really yeah. deal with it. So I had my other ways to deal with Which it. Which were what? Party, you know? <laughs> I. Um, because, you know, when I was young, I didn't really have a lot of friends that were... Uh, Relatable, I suppose. Yeah, exactly. I mean, so, you're a superstar. What are other kids going to do? <laughs> so I had a circle of friends who I yeah. partied with, and that's, that was my escape. Were they much older? No, they were around the same age. Yeah, okay. some of them were older. Yeah. I had a girlfriend who was 23 when I was 16. So, yeah. wow. <laughs> that was a long wow. time ago. Wow. But no, I, I, I had people that I hung around with. It probably wasn't a healthy group of people, but yeah. that was my escape, just running the streets. And, yeah. Escaping the business. And yeah. And, and then you, you, for seven years, you've been on Broadway, and South Africans mm -hmm. and people all over the world have been asking, where's Tevin? What's he doing? What's he up to? What was that hiatus about? Well, so, you know, in 2000, I released the greatest hits album on Warner Brothers, and I decided that I didn't want to be with Warner Brothers anymore, and I really didn't know what I wanted to do. I knew that I needed a break from the business, so. Uh, Why did you need to? Well, because when you start out recording records at 11, 12 years old, and growing up in that scene, you sort of need a break. I mean, to keep your sanity. Yeah. Um, 
I think that if I would have continued to make records, they end up telling what would have happened, you know. Wow. I think it's just healthy to just step away. But why, though? I think so many people can listen. And, I mean, we, we look on at these superstars' lives and we think, oh, they've got it all. Yeah, no, it's not but like what that. is it actually like? Well, like for what, a what's, kid, the what's the cost? What's the cost? Well, when you're an adult, it's, you, 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 uh, you know what the cost is. But when you're a kid, it kind of comes unexpected. So no mm -hmm. kid is prepared to deal with that kind of stuff. You're paying, but you don't know how much you're paying, right? Exactly, until, <laughs> until it hits the fan. But why? Were you treated like an adult or just thrown into situations and maybe weren't managed properly? I don't know. What, I was treated like an adult, and no 12-year-old should be treated like an adult. You know yeah. I mean? I employed people, and no one could tell me no. Yeah. Because I paid them. But that's not a healthy way for a kid to live, right? So exactly. um, that's why I stepped away from the business. And, you know, I didn't really get to have real relationships until I did, until I stepped away yeah. from the business. I made real friends, and they knew who I was, but they didn't really care. Yeah. You know, and that yeah. was something that I didn't have as a, as a kid. What advice would you give to that 12-year-old ready to sign that contract on that day? We know there are not a lot of 12-year-olds that do that. So, but I would say, <laughs> think, think twice. I would just say, you know, make sure that that's what you want to do. I mean, you know, it's a big, big step. It's a big sacrifice. It's not all glory and fame like you see in the videos and they throwing up the money and the beautiful girls and everything. It's not like that. Like, it, yeah. it's a lot of work. And for a kid, it's really a lot, mm. you know. I mean, I'm glad I did it. Don't get me wrong. Yeah. I, I'm glad I did it. I wouldn't change a thing about it. Yeah. But, um... There's a lot that comes with it. Exactly. Now you're back in South Africa. I think yeah. your South African fans are absolutely for the second over time. Yeah. You're back for the second. <laughs> yeah. Take, what, what can we expect from the concert? And we're giving away tickets to the concert, by the way. So you cool. better stay listening. Yes. So what can we expect? Well, last time I was here, okay, I've been here three times, right? So 20 years ago I came, and so last time was three years ago, and so I did all the classics. Mm -hmm. But I didn't do a lot of songs either. Like, there were a lot of songs that people wanted to hear that they didn't hear. So I'm including all of those songs in this show. They're classics also. Yes. But they're songs, a lot of songs that I've actually never performed live from the first album, the second wow. album. So it's going to be a different show. A lot of songs were not in the first show. I'm still going to include the classic classics that everybody knows. But yeah. Which are your classics? Do you, are your classics the ones that the fans consider no. the classics? Which are your classics? My own songs? Yeah. <laughs> I thought you were going to just add my own Bonnie classics. Can sing them for you. Well, I did it. I can. <laughs> I did a song off of uh, uh, one of my favorite songs that I did was "Impossible Dream," which was uh, um, it was on an Olympic soundtrack or something like mm. that. It was for Jackie Robinson. I had to perform the song live, but Babyface produced it. It was one of the hardest songs I've ever done. It's a hard song, but I like to listen back to it. It's one of my favorite songs that I've done. Wow. We're looking forward to you performing on the show a little bit yeah. later as well. Now, remember, <laughs> we're still giving away those Tevin Campbell tickets later in the show for those of you who entered on our social media accounts. And he will be performing right here in the loft. So uh, after the break, our resident chef, Clem Pedro, has a surprise for Tevin oh, yeah. in the kitchen. So stay right where you are. <laughs> Welcome back to Afternoon Express and our all new time slot of 5 p.m. live on SABC3. And today we have the amazing Tevin Campbell in the loft and he's going to be cooking with Clem. But now, what's the surprise? Okay, so I know you love cheeseburgers yeah. and chocolate milk. Yes. So I've kind of like, because you're in South Africa, I had to do a bit of a spin. Cool. So it's still a cheeseburger, yeah. but it's a Burrowos burger with chakalaka and cheese. Mm. What do you know Burevors. about Burrowos burger? Do you like Burrowos? I think I do. I don't know, I don't know if I know you, what that okay, is. Okay, try say it first. Burrowos. I can't say it. Buda, <laughs> Budavos. Hey! And it's a special, it's a some special. Part, like farmer's vos. Yes. Well, it's, farmer's it's, sausage. Like, oh. It's like every nationality has a sausage, right? So this is our... our our version of it. Okay. So what I've done is I've taken some of the meat out of the sausage. Simple, easy. It's a bit. There we go. That's what you got to do. Yes, cool. And you got to shape it into patties just like that. Yeah. And then it's going to go straight into Are a hot pan. Are you going to ask me to do that? I was going to. What do you think? Can we still do it? I'll try. Yeah, let's do this. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm a fan of getting my hands dirty, you see. <laughs> So the good thing about cooking with brew is it's already been seasoned. All that coriander, all the cumin, all the salt Ooh, is in there, all the you... pepper. Jeannie, you doing such a good job. You've done this before. <laughs> I'm such a pro. Whoa. Okay, that, I'm a pro. Look at that. So, Tevin, what I've got I mean, on the side for you, because yeah. you're going to be put to work as well, all the buns, they've been toasted. That's another trick. You have to toast your buns. Got always, to toast always. them, okay. And I'm going to hand you the chakalaka. So, it's okay. a little spicy. You don't mind that? No. No, I don't. Cool. So, if you can just 
Every bun gets a little bit of this. Just a little bit, and okay. And go crazy, and okay. then a little bit of the lettuce and cheese. Okay. I'll go, I'll go back to the, to the burgers over here. So, but, but just the bottom bun gets it, right? Yeah, just the bottom part. Okay. I like that you're being very, like, you're being sensible. Start off little. This is the way up. Yeah, because it's spicy, right? Okay. It's quite spicy. Is that too so, much? Look at this. I'm so impressed. Hey? I'm out. I'm done. Thank Cheers. you. Yeah, no, 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 no. I'm really good with patties. <laughs> So some lettuce, and then I'm using some mature cheddar, which goes really well, because wow. it's quite... Is that really, is that going well for her? <laughs> it is, it's going really well. So I'm using a mature cheddar, because it's quite sharp, uh -huh. and it goes really well with our spice mint. Well, I have no words, no words. So good, so good. Is that generous? Is that good enough? That's amazing, that's okay. so good. Okay. So you can keep on going. I'm gonna go check on our burro So you're gonna cook it like you would normally cook sausage, on a medium, medium to high heat, and, with, and then flip it over. Jeannie, I am so impressed. Kevin. Thank you. I mean, <laughs> there we go. Who would have thought, of, who would have thought I'd have so much fun playing with meat? Oh. So I didn't want to say anything, but I've got some down, but you can keep on going. <laughs> there you go. Oh, look at that. Okay. Oh. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I'm yeah, I'm uh, no words. <laughs> okay, okay um, cool. So. so when you're done, you're going to get these beautifully browned off. Oh, gorgeous. Oh, I'm but you done. can keep on I'm going. We've got so many guests here today. You oh, can keep on true. going. Jeez. And then I've also I've got some Cajun seasoned onion rings. Mm. Just to bring a little oh, bit of the American element back in there. Yeah. So that's gonna get do you like onion rings? Yeah, I do. Okay, cool. So we can pile it on. Nice. And that's that's the Tevin Campbell afternoon express. Yes. We even named I mean, it after you. Look at that. And Man. we didn't we didn't make you fries because, well, we're on TV, we don't need fries. <laughs> well, you got onion rings, it's fine. <laughs> look at no. that, look at that. Oh, my goodness. Mm. I'm definitely going to try that as well <laughs> in the commercial break. But while we finish these burgers, it's time to share another moment with Five Roses. Mm. South Africa's uh, favourite tea is expertly blended to ensure the highest quality consistently. Uh, consistently. It's a commitment mm. to excellence that Five Roses puts into making the perfect cup of tea, which delivers its distinctively superior taste. This week, I met up with tea master Dinesh at the blissful Coco de Mer boutique, uh, which is the hotel in Belito, and we went to go and taste the flavorful tea based infusions in the Five Roses range. Have a look at this. I'm taking a not so winter break in tropical Durban today as I meet up with tea master Dinesh Vijay Wadna at the Coco de Mer Hotel for a tea tasting of the Five Roses Infusions range. With names like Bombay Circus and Jade Emperor, my curiosity is already piqued to discover more about this unique range. I'm already intrigued by this unique selection of teas. Can you take me through what we're going to be tasting today? The Five Roses Infusion brands has eight different teas in it. These teas are made out of um, long leaf premium grades and also flavored with natural ingredients uh, to bring out some delicious flavors. There are some amazing flavor and ingredient combinations here. What are they? Firstly, just to let you know that all these teas are pure Ceylon teas. Uh, pure Ceylon tea is what's grown in Sri Lanka uh, and it brings out some amazing unique flavor and smoothness in your tea. And the first one we have is what we would call Admiral Grey. It's actually uh, a Earl Grey, a classic Earl Grey with a bergamot flavor. And the twist is that we have also put some um, orange peel into it to give it a slightly more citrus note to it. And then uh, we have what we call Bombay Circus. And as the name would say, it, is, com it comes from India. So it is a blend of uh, spices, which is cardamom, cinnamon, clove. And here, the twist is that we have put some rose petals to bring out a, a additional fragrance into it. Then um, we have a decadent blend, which has pieces of chocolate. Is there real chocolate in there? Real chocolate. Can I try a piece? Absolutely. That's real chocolate. <laughs> also cocoa. Uh, so it, this is what we call our decadent blend and one of my favorites. And then we have the green tea in the variant, which we call Jade Emperor. This is a pure Ceylon green tea and it has mint uh, or peppermint leaves in it to give that really smooth and refreshing taste and smell to, to the tea. What's the best way to prepare these? The tea is already 
uh, in a pyramid tea bag, which allows the leaf teas and the, the natural ingredients to brew and to open out and to swell in the cup of tea, as you would see. Um, and this gives out a really nice, fragrant, flavorful cup of tea. Um, we do recommend that you drink it without milk, but then it's a choice of the consumer at the end. And to sweeten it, we could put some honey or sugar if needed, but keeping in mind that the natural flavors also give you a sweetened taste uh, to the tea. Well, I definitely think the sacred night is my new night in shining armor. I can't believe the real chocolate pieces. Oh, wow, look what we've got here. Hi, wow. That looks incredible. Yes. Lovely. Well, we've tried to combine the flavors of the teas and the food as best we could while incorporating local Durban elements. So if you have a look at what we have here, inside the pineapple, we have a jungle salad, which is an Indian-style chicken salad with cauliflower, baby leaf spinach, and a coriander and mint drizzle over there to combine that all together. Next to it, we have a lovely rose panna cotta, which is a traditional Italian cooked cream that uh, we've infused with a rose water and amaretto, giving you that more botanical flavor, which will pair with the Admiral Grey tea beautifully, as it's got all the rose flavors in there. Next, we have uh, a pairing for the Sacred Night, which is the banana cigar, which is a uh, a Italian wafer that we wrap with a banana ribbon. We season, yeah, we season with a brown sugar and cinnamon. We roll that in phyllo pastry, flash fry that and serve that. And then we have the hearty assortment, which comprises of a ch chocolate macaroon, a pecan nut tartlet, a vanilla macaroon, and a caramel tartlet. The peppermint tea, the Jade Emperor, will work beautifully with that as it'll cut that sweetness and give you a different complexity to the afternoon treat. Bon appetito, I hope you enjoy. Thank you. I'm totally having the panna cotta. Which one are you going for? I'm going for the chocolate macaroon. <laughs> Good choice, <laughs> Danette. <laughs> From citrus notes to chocolate undertones, the Five Roses Infusions range offers a superior taste experience that'll take your taste buds on quite the adventure. Today we're giving away a fabulous Five Roses gift pack containing an assortment of their delicious teas. To win, simply SMS the keyword Five Roses, your name and city, to 33728. SMSs are charged at one round fifty each and T's and C's do apply, so visit our website, afternoonexpress.co.za for details. Join us again next week. Until then, remember that nobody makes better tea than you and Five Roses. We'll be right back. Welcome back to Afternoon Express. If you've just joined us, lovely to have you. Now, the Revlon Love Squad are always on point when it comes to love, beauty, and just looking flawless. Today, Luzanne Ashby shares her secrets on achieving a perfect foundation finish with a flirty pastel lip. Hi, I'm Luzanne from Pink Peonies. This week's makeup look is flirtation. Now, when you are flirting with someone, you usually want to draw attention to your lips. And I'm going to show you how to achieve the perfect glossy, pouty lip. So today I'm going to be using the Revlon Colorstay Makeup Foundation. Now they have new packaging with a pump which is very handy and mess free. You also get two foundation formulas. The one is for combination to oily skin and the other one is for normal to dry skin. You can tell them apart by the lids. The normal to dry skin has the clear see-through lid and the combination to oily has the darker lid. For the first step, I'm just going to go in with my Revlon Colorstay Makeup Foundation in the shade Nude and I'm just quickly going to dab that onto the skin using a dampened beauty sponge. There are currently 27 shades in the range so you will definitely find your perfect shade. So you want to start with a nice light layer and then you can add coverage where you need it most. And now I'm going to set my foundation in place using the Revlon Colorstay Pressed Powder in the shade Nude. It's always important to set your makeup just because it'll ensure that your foundation lasts all day long. So I feel like my face is looking a little bit flat at the moment, so to warm up the skin, I'm going to be using the Revlon Bronzer in the shade Bronzella. And I'm just adding that bronzer to the perimeters of my face as well as under my cheekbones and the jawline. To add a pop of colour to the cheeks, I'm going to apply the Revlon Blush in the shade Racy Rose. 
I like to smile while I'm applying my blush just because it makes the apples of your cheeks stand out more and it makes blush placement so much easier. We're moving on to the eyes and for that I'm using the Revlon bronzer in the shade Bronzella. I'm going to apply it using a fluffy eyeshadow brush and I'm just going to apply it to the crease area just to define the crease. And I'm going to add that bronze shade to the lower lash line as well. I'm using the Revlon Colorstay Quad in the shade 505 Decadent and I'm going to apply this light shimmery shade to the lid. And then I'm just going to highlight the inner corners using the lightest shade in the quad. And to intensify the crease, I'm going to use this dark brown shade in the quad and I'm going to apply that to the crease and to the outer corner of the lid. I'm going to add two coats of mascara and for that I'm using the Revlon Dramatic Definition Mascara. Love this mascara, love the formula, it's so easy to work with. I really like this mascara one. It separates every single lash for you so you don't have to faff around trying to separate it with a separate mascara wand. This really is an all-in-one mascara. Even though it says Dramatic Definition, I find it adds volume and length as well. It's amazing. So for a pouty lip look, you want to draw attention to your lips. So what I'm going to start off with is a very shimmery light eyeshadow and I'm going to apply that to the cupid's bow. It's going to make my lips appear more full and it's going to also bring the upper lip forward. So I like to go in first with an eyeshadow brush and just apply it to the cupid's bow and then I will blend it out with my finger. Then I'm going to go in with the Revlon Ultra HD Lipstick in the shade Rose and I'm just going to apply that all over the lips. I really like these lipsticks from Revlon. They last so well on the lips and they also give the lips a nice glossy finish. And to finish off my glossy pouty lip look, I'm just going to add the Revlon Lip Lacquer in the shade Petalite and I'm going to add that to the middle of my lips just to bring the lips forward. And that's it for my flirtation makeup look with Revlon. Go out and flirt, ladies, and remember to be confident and always choose love. Now, the Revlon Love Squad will be sharing their love tips and makeup tricks every Tuesday and Thursday, so don't miss the next episode for more tutorials with Revlon Colorstay Makeup Foundation. Remember, you can follow the campaign online, hashtag Love Squad SA, love is on. Now, it's almost time for Win a Home right here on Afternoon Express, in which you, the viewer, could win your choice of one of three glamorous apartments on the Val de Vie, uh, luxuri luxurious lifestyle estate in the Cape Winelands. And for those of you who've missed out on on the action, let's take a look at the progress of each of these three apartments decorated by our contestants, one of which you could soon be calling home. To decorate our apartments, Winner Home chose three of South Africa's most promising emerging interior designers. First up, it was candidate architect Minent Lantuli from Durban, who was paired up with his mentor, Bell Bellingham from Elle Decoration magazine. Hailing from Bloemfontein and also a candidate architect, Joanne Fenter was paired up with mentor Sumin Brank, editor of VC magazine. And last but not least, Cape Townian interior designer Rudolf Jordan was paired up with his mentor, Michelle Snadden from Real Estate magazine. The three contestants immediately got to work on their first project, the guest bedroom. The brief was to create a comfortable space that caters to your guests every need. The contestants quickly realized that interior design wasn't as easy as it seems. So I chose black in the mood because I love it. The... <laughs> oh, wait, this, is a... <laughs> this is not bad at all. We can fix this. We can fix it. So because I had my headboard made myself, uh, something went wrong. I gave them the dimensions of the overall size and then they added the foam to that size. So they made the frame the size I gave them. So we just need to remove one layer of foam. So I'm just doing a bit of reupholstery. So this is like the main feature on my bedroom, um, of which went wrong earlier. So the problem was the mirrors were too big for the doors. Luckily, on a Friday, we managed to find this guy with my amazing team who did an absolutely great job for us. And now my whole idea is coming together. And... Joanne established her style as tasteful and minimalist with a quirky touch. 
Rudolf went for a masculine take with fashionable accents and a great attention to detail. And Minentle brought the outside in with earthy colors from Plascon and a modern African feel. Rudolf took the prize for the best guest bedroom, but the scores were close and the other two contestants were still hot on his heels. Next up was the wettest room in the house, the bathrooms. Rudolf took the judge's criticism of his guest bedroom into account and added a feminine touch to his design with a gentle color palette and spa-inspired sandware. Guys, the brief calls for this uh, master bedroom um, bathroom to be quite um, spa-like and I've made my selection of white sanitary fittings. I've also upgraded the range to the Pura Vida range, which has spa functions in the hand shower. I think it just all gels together in the end. Joanne kept her guns with a stark and minimal bathroom with detailing and a vanity to die for. This vanity, it's a custom design for this bathroom, as well as the black sap that's very trendy at the moment, mm -hmm. and then the plumbing fixtures. Minentle's bold design was striking, but a bit delayed in handover. Oh, wow. Minentle? What's going on here? I wasn't very prepared on how long the mosaic would take. I think I took for granted how much detail needs to go into tiling a mosaic. I think that's the main thing that led to this unfortunate circumstance. I'm hoping I can pull up my socks in the coming challenges. All three complete bathrooms were absolutely breathtaking, and the judges had a hard time deciding on a winner. But once again, Rudolf Jordan took the top prize in the judges' vote. The contestants then stepped it up a notch with their next challenge, the master bedroom. The brief was to create a seductive sanctuary that balanced masculine and feminine elements. Minentle pulled out all the stops when it came down to color with a bold feature wall and an infinity mirror wardrobe. So Minentle, I'm really proud of you, my friend. After the big stress of the last time, you've managed to complete this on time. It's looking incredible. Uh, thank you very much. I must say I'm very proud of myself. I like how I played around with the different Plascon colors. Uh, as I felt, I played it too safe with the guest bedroom. I like how it's very bold, so I'm expecting people to either like it or not. Hoping they like it. I really love it. Rudolf went with the Rolf Lauren-inspired look with an exposed timber wardrobe, Caesar stone bedside tables and a glint of glam in the lighting. I was inspired by Rolf Lauren, which is synonymous with the polo lifestyle. And what I do like about his style is that it's very masculine, but it's also very soft. I went for darker greens. It's a color that is associated with both male and female. But then I also contrasted it with a lot of charcoals, which he also uses, and dark blacks. Joanne's soft industrial style suited her master bedroom perfectly with elegant copper finishes and smoky dressing mirror. I'm going for the minimalist look. Like That is what they're going to get from me and I, I'm going to stand behind it. I really like it. That's who I am and I, I think it's trending and it looks amazing. This time, Minentle's design risk paid off as the judges awarded him with top marks for the master bedroom. This week, the contestants are getting creative with their culinary spaces as they create their kitchens. Joanne is creating a bold statement with black Caesar stone slabs contrasting her white tops. Minentle is going green with a bold choice of Plascon Vulva Glow for his kitchen. And Rudolf shows us his darker side with a striking choice of appliances and finishes. All will be revealed tomorrow. And with only the lounge still to be designed and decorated in our winner home apartments, it's still anyone's game. As the contestants vie for the judges' choice prize of 50,000 Rand and an internship with the design studio ARC. <laughs> Welcome back. Now, the moment we've all been waiting for, well, I've been very excited. The competition is tough, but we finally get to see the kitchens. I know. I'm really looking forward to that. I've been saying the whole week, kitchens are definitely my favourite part of the house. And still to come on the show, a live performance by Tevin Campbell. So we'll be right back after this. <laughs> Win a home on Afternoon Express, where three design contestants are turning three empty properties at Valdivia Estate in the Cape Islands into dream homes using finishes provided by Caesar Stone and Plascon. Vote for your favourite and you could win. Now, tomorrow we give you the first to look at our design contestants' kitchens. And while they're hard at work around the clock to get done in time, let's take a look at a collaboration between Menentle and One Design with a very unique use of Caesar Stone. Thank mm -hmm. you.
My vision for the kitchen is to create a space that relates to the rest of the rooms uh, by using colors that work together and materials that complement the rest of the room. The whole vision is to create a kitchen that adds value to the apartment in the sense that it has enough storage, but at the same time it also explores innovative concepts. Working with Manentle from the outset was very easy and, and comfortable to do. His designs on paper as well as in his head and his use of different materials as you'll see in the finished product um, has come to the fore uh, and that is due to Manentle's design and us just executing it. Well the most important thing for me in the kitchen is comfort. So I've considered the ergonomic triangle, how the working areas work with one another. Having my island uh, relates more to the dining area and having the, the, the cooking area at the back, but at the same time, not very much hidden away because the kitchen is pretty much becoming a space where people show off their, their cooking talent. And with the overall feel of the kitchen, I'm bringing the earthy colors that I have in the other rooms. So I want you to feel very comfortable in the kitchen. What we try to do was bring different colors into the kitchen along with the different wood grains. He wanted a very soft color in the wood itself. No yellowing, very plain, very standard. It was something that you could almost feel like a bit of the outside coming in because of where we are on this Valdivia estate. Abundance of trees and greenery, I think the two blend hand in hand and accompany each other very well. What's also gonna have my kitchen stand out is how I've used Caesar stone uh, as a versatile material. Um, applying it horizontally and vertically. And I think going on from that, what makes this the perfect kitchen for me is that Manente has been able to take different elements and bring them into the kitchen, whether it's uh, the use of different materials. It's a sort of a modern take on a more timber looking kitchen with the use of soft close hinges, uh, touch release for the doors, integrated appliances, um, as well as the steel along with the timber makes it a, not only a functioning kitchen uh, and easy to use, but one that's also good looking at the same time. Another way I've incorporated Caesar stone into my space is creating this sunken uh, trough uh, which, which acts as uh, storage for your herbs, which are very trendy in kitchens, bring the garden into the kitchen space. Overall, the Frosted Carina works well with the kitchen as the grain on the finish works well with the timber finishes while the more white and clean accommodates the rest of the colors I'm using in the dining and lounge area. So what we try and do is take not only uh, the kitchen design itself, but blend it in with the rest of the house. So when we are looking at designs, it's not just kitchen specific. Uh, we take into consideration the rest of the house, the rest of the design of the house, um, so that it is an extension of the house. Kitchens are coming along nicely and it's certainly one of my favorite rooms in the house and it can really make or break your home from a sellability perspective. So how do we know what to look for? Well, Danilo joins us on the couch with the man who's made it in his business. Now, if there's one room that can really make the biggest difference when it comes to selling a home, it is definitely the kitchen. We gravitate towards beautiful kitchens because they are stylish yet user-friendly. Fail at this and selling your home can become quite tricky. This afternoon in the loft, we have Simon Bray, CEO of Private Property, to explain to us how we can win the battle of the kitchen. Welcome back to our loft. Thanks, Dan. Good to be here. So let's talk about my favorite room in the whole house. The kitchen plays a really big part when it comes to selling a home. Talk us through why. It's the most expensive room in the house. I think, first of all, that's what sets it apart from the other rooms. You've got the appliances in there, you've got the fittings, you've got mm. the countertops, you've got the cupboards and the cabinetry. Uh, so by the time you're done, that's a really expensive part of any home. Uh, and so when somebody comes in and they're looking to buy a place and they're considering whether this is a good investment or not, they're yeah. going to look at how that's fitted out. They're going to look at whether that kitchen sets that particular house apart. What are some of the trends that you've seen in terms of modern kitchens? What is happening? Interestingly, it's one of the spaces that's transitioned the fastest uh, within the, the home environment. Uh, 20 years ago, the kitchen was very much a kind of female domain. And now you're seeing a lot more masculine finishes, a lot, mm. uh, you know, high-tech equipment. It's almost like the modern man's workshop yes. uh, inside the home. And so you're seeing, you know, interesting coffee machines and uh, grillers and uh, appointments that you you would expect to see in a kind of high-tech environment. Uh, and that's driving the trend uh, for the kitchen, just in terms of the aesthetics and the finishes. We always like to talk business with these things and trying to sell a home, is you want it to be friendly, welcoming, inviting, but you also want it to be functional and practical at the same time. So 
Is it possible to achieve that? Uh, it's a very functional room. Uh, yeah. Kitchen is about uh, you know cooking, cooking, <laughs> uh, making coffee, uh, cleaning up. So it has to be a functional space, and I think you have to consider all of those use yeah. cases when you design a kitchen. But it's also about you know the tone that it sets, the atmosphere that it creates. Mm. So design is critically important. Uh, it's also a great way to kind of look under the bonnet of the house and see how yeah. well looked after and how well cared for is the house. Yeah. If you look at a kitchen that's grimy and rough around the edges and the appliances are old, then you're likely to find that across the house. You've mm, probably got true. geezers and ceiling spaces and all of the stuff that you can't see that's mm. just as grimy and just as, as, as yeah. troublesome. You'll find out if you had a lazy owner because it's all of the, like, to scrub in between those things on the stove is like everyone's worst nightmare. Exactly. So this is a good telltale sign. Yeah. yeah, I mean, I feel that the kitchen in our particular winter home challenge is going to be the the piece de resistance, yeah. the most important room. This is going to put the finishing touches on for the designer. If this mm. room is wrong, then the whole house is unlikely to hang together well. Yeah. So it's going to be very interesting to see what they do. So the pressure is on. What are you looking for from them, by the way? Because, I mean, every time you've given some of the most harsh advice that we've seen so far, because you want to see these guys innovate and create things, and they, they're trying to stay on the safe side. So <laughs> what are you hoping to see with these kitchens? I know piece de resistance, but yeah, exactly. what exactly are you looking for? Well, this is probably not the challenge to save money on. Uh, you know, kitchens, <laughs> yeah, exactly. You know, how you fit out the kitchen, the appliances you choose, yeah. the brands you choose, those all communicate something about uh, the designer and about the yes. apartment. Uh, we're talking about Val de Vie, we're talking about the Lapa Luxury, so I'm expecting to see well appointed kitchens uh, and perhaps something a little innovative, something a little mm -hmm. interesting. I don't know if it's a built in coffee machine or an interesting under counter appliance uh, or some clever. Uh, space to slide away things like uh, washing machines and dishwashers. Ah. Something interesting because it certainly isn't a big kitchen yes. in, the, in the Valdivia apartments so we're going to need to see some innovative design. Sure, it's funny because I've, I've had a sneak peek at some of their plans and their ideas and I've spoken to them quite a lot off camera about what exactly they're hoping to achieve and it seems like they've got some very different ideas so I can't wait for everyone to see what oh, they've done good. so you're going to have to sit tight and just really, really <laughs> hold those guns. And no, I must ask you just from your advice, uh, when I'm maybe trying to sell my house right now and I've, I've got something that I'm trying to prepare, how do I position my kitchen in a way that's going to sell well? Do I create a standalone like counter which call an island do yeah. I what, what sells well give me tips uh, often something that's overlooked is the state of the oven or the hob uh, the extractor fan the very visible elements of the kitchen yeah. uh, sometimes spending 10 grand on some new equipment there is going to increase your property price significantly oh. you know you walk in and all of a sudden you get a sense that this is a well looked after well maintained and well appointed space mm. so invest in some good equipment and that'll hopefully raise the value of the property a lot also when i'm going to go buy a new house for those of you who are watching make sure that you make a really nice kitchen because could make the impression the most important impression simon thanks so much for joining us i always take a lot from these conversations good good to be here the kitchen requires a lot of love and attention as you know particularly for me it's a space where you want to express yourself and create magical dishes or just a really good cup of coffee. So visit privateproperty.co.za for much more inspiration on what it takes to sell a beautiful kitchen. It's not called Winner Home for Nothing. You, the viewer, can win one of the three completed apartments at Valdivia Estate, valued at over 3 million rand by voting for your favorite design contestant's kitchen on privateproperty.co.za. Winner Home is proudly brought to you by Private Property in association with NetBank. Welcome back to Afternoon Express. Now, since yesterday evening, we ran a competition on our social media sites where you could win tickets to Tevin Campbell's concert by sending us a video of you singing along to your favorite Tevin, uh, Tevin, Cam, uh, Tevin Campbell classic. <laughs> Tevin has, in fact, chosen our winners, and they are Ntom Bentley, Tafik, and Goldie Daniel, and Michelle, and Tosca, and Letitia, there's so many, we're just giving you all tickets. And as promised, and as promised, we have live in our loft, Mr. Tevin Campbell. What are you gonna sing for us? I'm doing my new single that was just released a couple of months ago, Safer yeah. on the Ground, and uh, Can We Talk. Can we talk? Okay, and action. <laughs> Because I never had a fear of heights See you let me down So you can find me lying where you left me Cause loving you has taught me that I'm safer on the ground 
I believed I could fly, but it's over now. So you can find me lying where you left me. Cause loving you has taught me that I'm safer, safer on the ground. Last night I, I saw you standing and I started, started pretending that I knew you. But you weren't the only cause so was I And I dreamed of you ever since Now I built up my confidence Girl, next, next time you come my way I'll know just what to say Can we talk for a minute, girl? Ask you one thing, your dance moves like so smooth. So Marvin Gaye, I, I, I'm, I'm a Marvin Gaye. I'm, that's one of my idols. I mean, so that was I quite kinda, impressive. You I got into the groove there. I nearly joined you as like a backup Marcus, dancer yeah. up there. I now, can I, I have to hold you back? Some chocolate meal? Oh my goodness! Ice cold, like <laughs> you. Apparently, it's your favorite thing. <laughs> Ooh, is it good? Ooh. I mean. I'm not five, but I reckon wow, I'm going to enjoy this. Well done. I Cheers. wish I could say I made it. I didn't amazing. make it. I didn't make it. Cheers. Is she insinuating? Oh. Okay, this is good. This is delicious. <laughs> and then, can I interest you in our Buddha burger? Well, I just had one, and so, like... <laughs> did I, you finish oh, it? Oh, you don't want another one. What did you think about it? I what did you think about our Vors patty? Delicious. Uh, the beef tastes so clean. Like, we don't have beef that tastes like that in yeah, America. You should just stay here, wherever. 
I am thinking about it. <laughs> well, everybody has been going absolutely crazy um, for your performance, and well, am I, am I, well, am I eating a lot? Just, just for much question. fun. Yeah. What, have, what has been your Broadway highlight? Can I just have another second? Yeah, please. Broadway please go highlight. ahead. <laughs> well, I did the same show for seven years, so I did Hairspray for five years on, on, on Broadway in New York, which is not the real Broadway. London is the real Broadway. But, um, and then I moved to Australia for two years and did it out there. Uh, with a younger cast, wow. uh, who um, required but they were looking energy. for. Uh, I yeah. had to be on my P's and yeah. Q's, but uh, they needed a real seaweed. So uh, the stage manager in New York knew the director of the play in Australia, and they, I got good reviews. And so they flew me out. And wow, that's I was the incredible. only American in the play, yes. but they needed that real black thing, you know, because. They didn't have it. Awesome. <laughs> awesome. Oh. Well, I yeah. can't wait Love for your concert. You on the show. Yeah. Thank you so much for being on our show. Thank you for having me. I had a great time. This is a great way to end the day. <laughs> yeah, I know. It's so yeah, amazing. Yeah, yeah. And I've got burger literally all yeah, over me. Yeah, you dropped in the Thanks burger all over me. Thanks for serving the plates. Well, you know, I'm sorry. <laughs> Thank you so much for joining <laughs> us in our new time slot. Join us again tomorrow. <laughs> Bye. Happy eating. Good night and happy eating. <laughs> Coming up tomorrow on Afternoon Express, DJ Switch joins us in the loft. We chat to comedian Justin Ray Stoffels and we reveal our Winner Home Design Contestants completed kitchens. The hottest address on TV is Winner Home on Afternoon Express. Proudly brought to you by Private Property in association with Nedbank. Another feel good production. Hi, YouTubers. Thank you so much for watching. Your support means the world to us. Join the Afternoon Express family by subscribing to our channel right here. And we'll keep you up to date with all our recipes and, of course, our fabulous episodes. Also, feel free to leave a comment and share this video. We do love it when you express yourself.